Okay, hey, we're about 100 subscribers away from 5,550. Uh, once we hit that 5,550 subscribers, we're going to be doing a giveaway for 50 plus salt transfers from top transfers. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, go ahead and click that subscribe button. You can be entered whenever we do the giveaway for 50 plus salt transfers like this right here. So you'll be able to put whatever image you want on there and then you'll be able to gang it up and add whatever you want. So you see here, I add the image that goes on the back of the shirt and then I throw some shirt tags in there. I throw a flag on there and I got two chest pieces. I could have added a whole bunch of other stuff in between here, but I just chose not to. All right, so make sure you go down below and you hit that subscribe button and you hit that bell so you can be notified whenever we're gonna be doing that giveaway. y'all just saw in that short clip we're going to be pressing four mugs today. i got that five in one heat press i told you i was going to do a review on the mug press whenever i got a sublimation printer so if you follow me on instagram you know that i have been pressing some mugs in the past so today finally what i'm going to be doing is a review on this mug press right here that comes with that five in one heat press the other thing that we're going to be using we're going to be using the sawgrass 800 so with the Sawgrass 800, you can order all different sizes of paper. You can actually order the mug paper that's already pre-cut. But instead of doing that, I use the 11 by 17. And after I use it, I'll cut the piece off. I'll stick it back in and use the same one. So to give you an idea of what I'm talking about, this is how big the sheet comes like this right here. This is the 11 by 17. And what I do is I'll use this piece right here. I'll print the first mug. I'll use a straight edge and I'll cut it. And then I'll just stick this piece back in there and use it. Okay, so three of the four mugs that I'm going to be pressing today, I've already made the images. Uh, one of them I haven't, so I'm going to walk you through the process of how I'm going to do that. And then we're going to go into Creative Studio, and I'm going to show you the settings that I use because I've had people ask me what settings I use when I'm pressing mugs. So I'll show you those settings, so hopefully you can get the same results whenever you print yours. Also, I'm hoping you all can see this. This light right here is pretty bright, so you should be able to. But what I wanted to show is... Uh, they had some questions on what side of the paper goes up and what side goes down. So with the sublimation paper, if you look at this side right here, you're going to see, hopefully you can see the difference in this side, and you can see the difference in this side. So I'll turn it towards the light. If you see this side, it's actually like regular paper white, and if you see this side, it's like really bright white. So whatever side is the really bright white side is the side that you want to be facing down. The, the side that's not as bright as the white is where you want to face this up. All right, so this is the mug press we're going to be using right here. As you, you can see, I took these screws out, but if I were to take all four of these screws out, you would be able to interchange this mug wrap right here to whatever you need to put in there. This one here is the four prong. This is the male side. And then obviously on the other part, you will have the female part where you plug this in, and then you'll get your temperature from the main body to this right here. You got this handle, this little lever right here. You're able to go ahead and you squeeze the mug into place right here. And then with this, you can adjust depending on how many ounces you have your mug. So I'm using the 11 ounce mug, and this right here is set up for the 11 ounce mug as of right now. All right, so next, here's the mugs that I use right here. I get these from coastalsupply.com. And these right here, I pay about $27 for them. Uh, here they are right here. They're just the simple plain all white and what we're going to do is put some images on here they come with these little wraps right here these little plastic bags but they don't come with the the boxes so if you're, if you're shipping these off or you're giving these out for a gift the best thing i would do instead of giving it out like this is i'll go ahead and buy a bunch of boxes these come 36 to a pack um, i don't remember the exact price i'll have to look online and let you guys know uh, but i got these on coastal supplies also Com. You can check them out um, if you want to see what they got. They got a bunch of sublimation blanks on there too. Hey, so I told y'all that's where I'm getting my materials from, Coastal Supplies. There's plenty of websites out there that you can get sublimation blanks on. If you're getting from somewhere else that I'm not getting from, probably for a better price, I'll, I'll let y'all, like I said, I'm going to let you guys know the prices. Uh, leave some comments down below. Let me know where you're getting them from so maybe I can get them from there also. All right, so the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to take you into the screen of my computer. And then I'm going to show you the four mugs that we're going to press. It's got some personal pictures on there, so I'm going to blur them out.
but I will do one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull up Creative Studio. So if you don't know what Creative Studio is, Creative Studio is the actual program that works hand in hand with um, the Sawgrass 800. It's really cool because it has a whole bunch of templates on there that so you don't have to remake stuff. So if, like today we're going to be doing mugs. I'm going to take you in there and then all I got to do is pull up the template for the 11 ounce mug and then all I got to do is paste my pictures into it and then resize them and it's done. All right. so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go into the computer. I like to record my screen so I can actually show you guys what I'm doing and I'm going to talk you through what I'm doing so that you guys can have a better understanding instead of me just being mute like some people do and they just show you the mouse moving around. All right, so here we are, we're at the Sawgrass Studio webpage right here. So like I said, this is for people with the Sawgrass 800. Uh, you, could, you can come here, you can come down here, you can probably check out some of these videos. I'm not too sure there's much of anything else that you can do, but there's some other stuff on here if you wanna check it out. So me being that I have this Sawgrass 800 already, I could come here to Creative Studio and launch it. All right, so once you've logged into Creative Studio, it's going to take you to Sawgrass Designer. And from here is where you will go ahead and you're going to pick what product you want to make. Now is a good time to start. Select a product by beginning your new creation. So with all this right here being grayed out, there's obviously nothing you can do because there's not a um, there's not an image or a product there that, for you to edit. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to come to Products. Once we get our product, we'll just find something, find something random. Uh, let's go to fishing lures right here we'll go ahead we'll click this one and then we'll just open it up so let's say with this right here so whenever you order this I'm not sure if it will come with the hook but here's what the actual lure will look like and then from here you can add whatever you have in your in your photos and then if there's something here that you don't have you can always go here to upload and upload something so we'll go with a black background so we got our back background and then I'm gonna add another image so let's go ahead and we are going to add, we'll just add the Heart and Hustle printing logo. So this is a really big file right here. Or this is a really big image. So what I'm going to do is just come here, hold on Alt, resize it. So once you get it in there, you just resize it and then you could rotate it to fit in there. So if I wanted to make my own fishing lures, I could do that just like that. See how simple that was? And then all I gotta do is put the paper in there, send it over, print it, and it can, however many I wanna print. If I wanna put a whole bunch of these on one page, I'll print a whole bunch of them and then I'll have a whole bunch of lures to either use or sell. So we'll, uh, that's one of the things you could, that's, so that's one way to use it. But what we're gonna be doing, uh, we're gonna go ahead and now, now as you can see, now as you can see we have all this stuff up here to where we can edit it, whatever we wanna do. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're just gonna come here and clear it out. All right, so then we're gonna click product. We're gonna come back over here. We'll click clothing. Then we'll pick like an apparel or something, pick a shirt. So we'll come down here to a basic shirt. We'll pick the front. Here it is right here. So now here's another cool thing that you could do is that you can add designs. Whenever you go to add designs, these are, these, these are templates that I've made right here that I can reuse. But then if you look over here, there's a whole bunch of other stuff that you could do. So you can see they got new stuff. They have a subscription that you could pay for monthly to get stuff that you can't get for free. I don't subscribe to it, but um, I do use, I have used some of the free stuff that is on here. Sports and fitness, we'll open up. Let's do, let's do bodybuilding. So we come to bodybuilding, you see they got some pretty cool stuff for the premium. Here's one right here. This one's pretty cool for, it's a free one. So whatever, like the fitness gym, if you want to change this to something else, you could change it to, we'll just go with heart for now, the caps. So if you want to do heart gym and then you hit okay, then it changes it for you. So that's, that's pretty cool. So then you got the different images that are in here. And they're all free to use if you're using Sawgrass or, or Creative Studio. Uh, and then you just put it on a shirt print it out, put it on a shirt, or whatever you want to put it on, put on some towels, whatever you want to do. That's just a couple of the things that you could do as you saw with all the options that popped up over there on the left hand side. There's a ton of stuff that you could do. So with that being said, we're going to come over here to products now. With the products, we're going to come, we're going to come down to drinkware. We come down to drinkware, then I'm going to come down to drinkware mugs. So with the mugs, 
as you can see a whole bunch of different mugs you can order we're gonna go with the 11 ounce mug and then I'm gonna go ahead and go with this advanced wrap this advanced full wrap right here we're gonna click that one and as you can see here it pulls up the mug the left side of the mug the center and the right side and then if you see here you got you can see where it, this line that goes across here is where your image is gonna fit and then you got these three right here so these three right here so this one right here these two lines right here are the center of the left side this line right here is the center of the middle of the mug and then this one right here is the center of the right side of the mug so if, you're, if you didn't know what these lines meant and you're using Creative Studio or you're thinking about using Creative Studio or this that's what these uh, lines mean right here so with that being said we're gonna come in we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna come into designs because like I said I've already done three of these we just got to do one so I'm going to show you the first three so here's one right here we're going to be doing this one this is going to be one of the images right here this is going to be this is going to be one of the mugs right here and after we do that one clear it out even even though I cleared it out as long as I've saved it into my designs it will be there so that's one of them then we're going to do this one we're going to do this one here and after we get done with this one, we will do a design. There's one more that I've already made, this one. And then we're going to do this one. So with those three already being done, I didn't want to take you through a process of making each one of those. Uh, what we're going to do is, is we are going to go ahead, start with a blank mug. We're going to start with our blank mug and then we are going to put our images into it. The reason it said that right there, if you saw that, is because it's telling me that my sawgrass is not ready to use. It's because it's not plugged in. The USB is not plugged in. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to go ahead. What I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to put a black background. So as soon as this loads, I'm going to grab this number three right here. I'm going to grab and then I'm going to put it onto the mug so, so that I can have a nice black background. And then you can resize it. Right, so there's our black background that I want. So the next thing I'm going to do, that's one image. So you see it right here. It put that one. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come here. And I'm going to upload my next image. So with this image here, I created this image right here. I created it on Photoshop before I put it on here. And if you saw it, you can see I put an outline, a an out, outer glow on this because of the outside of this this rank right here, right here was black so if I would have put that black on this black you wouldn't have seen it so by putting that outer glow it separates these two colors and it will stick out so then all you do is just resize it so then all you do is resize it make sure it fits inside this mug here once you get it to place you just go ahead and drop it then you can control plus so you can zoom in to see how it's gonna look so I want to go a little bit bigger And then with this, so like I said, this right here is the center of the mug. This line right here is the center of this mug. So this line right here, I try to put it here so that I know it's centered. So when I drop it about right here, it's pretty much centered where I want it. Then you just got to make sure that everything that you have here is going to be sublimated. So that right there looks good. It's pretty much centered. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our next image and then we're going to hold down alt. When you hold down alt, it'll resize the whole thing together so that you're not doing something crazy to where it messes it up. All right, so we're going to come here, resize it. Then you can control plus to zoom in and you can look at it. So with this, there's no control Z to undo. If I if I hit control Z, it's not undoing it. You actually have to come up here and press undo. It's not like every other program where you can do shortcuts. So with this one, you have to actually go in there to undo and click it. So we're gonna come resize it a little bit more and we'll drop it right there. All right, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the sawgrass. We're gonna plug this in. We're gonna print these out and then get ready to press these onto the mugs. So let's go ahead and go over there. 
All right, so this thing, this sawgrass is not wireless, so you do have to plug the USB into it. it comes with a really long USB cord. You see it comes out of this right here. It actually plugs in right here. So whenever you have this, you just run it down the side right there. Then you clip it in so it can't be pulled out. So this cord is really long, so what I usually do is I just put it in the back. Plug it in like this, and we're ready to go. not filming the screen no more. I just got you in there with the camera as close as I could get with it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come up here to where it says print, and we're going to click that. All right, so it says for the file name. I always leave it like that, and what it's going to do is it's going to tell me it already exists. I'm just going to hit OK. All right, it says save complete. Click here to print. I'm going to click to print it. It's going to ask you down here, do you want to open it or save it? I open it. All right, so if you look here, this is what we're going to be doing. So you got to make sure you change whatever you're using. So we are using the text to print. We aren't using sub product. We are using ceramic and glass. So once you do that, it's going to save what it's doing. So this one right here is set up for the 8.5 by 11. So I need to make sure I change that. So to change that, you come to layout. The VPN performance layout, you come here. And then I'm going to be using the 11 by 17 which is the US tabloid. So I'll click that one and you're going to see it changes it now. So uh, with that being said, you also want to make sure you mirror your image because if you don't, if you don't mirror it, what's going to happen is when you go to print it, it's going to be backwards. So make sure you mirror it. I'm telling you that from experience because I've done it. I printed three mugs, all of them. I didn't mirror none of them so that whenever I printed them, and we're all backwards. All right, so the next thing I want to do before I print this is I want to make sure that my paper is in there the right way. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open this up, I'm going to pull this out. I'm going to double check my paper. The really bright white side is facing down. So I'm going to leave it like that. I got a little dirty spot right there. So I'm going to put this to the back. That's not going to get printed. So next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and come right here, click print. All right, so here we are right here. You can see how nice and dark that print is right there. Looks really good. Whenever we press this onto a mug, it's gonna look really good. So, all right, so here we are right here. So what I'm gonna do is I use this mat right here. I use a straight edge. And then what I do is I just line this up with some lines here so that I know it's gonna be straight. So I'll line it up with these lines. Come down here and line it up with another line so I'll get a straight line then I just use this straight this roller I use this I use this right here and what I do is I just come here cut straight across so then I have this piece right here so now we're gonna go back to the printer what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead I'm gonna print these last three of them out All right so here's the four that we're gonna be doing right here we're gonna go ahead we're gonna line them up with our mugs so what I like to do is just put it like this wrap it around and make sure we got a straight line all the way around then I finally got this heat tape right here, which makes a big difference. Uh, you don't get that sticky residue whenever you use resi regular tape, which what I was doing at first. But now that I have this, it makes it a whole lot easier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get these four mugs ready. I'm going to go ahead and wrap them on here. And then we're going to go ahead and press them and check out that mug press. All right, so all four mugs are ready to be pressed. Let's go ahead and turn this thing on and check this out. All right, so as you can see, this is the five-in-one heat press. Right now we got the cap press on here and we have the mug press. So this one is actually connected to the actual base, but it's not plugged in. Uh, the mug press, if you can see this white, this white wire right here, actually goes into this, which is sending the heat over here. So with that, there's two of the connections that you get and then you get these two plate presses right here to make it four. And then you got the 12 by 15 inch platen that I have off to the side that will go here and you will replace this with that. So those are the five things you get uh, whenever you order this heat press right here. All right, so our main focus is this mug press. Whenever I put this mug in here, these are already tightened down. All I'm going to do is clamp this in and we're going to let it we're going to leave it there for 150 to 210 seconds. So I got it at 205 seconds and then you want to press it at 
350 to 400 degrees. I'm going to wrap it up in some parchment paper. I'm going to slide it right in. I'm going to slide it in there. And then I am going to go ahead and clamp this in. Once I clamp that in, I hit enter and we let it count down. So I like to take it off right away so that it doesn't get it. All right, so as y'all can see on this one, I just took off the paper. The colors on this thing are so nice. So now we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start on the next two. One over here, getting ready to be done. We got these two right here. This one's got two personal pictures on there, so I'm not gonna show it. And then on the other side of this one over here, it has another personal picture. All right, so as you can hear it beeping, this one's done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna take it out, I'm gonna put it up here, and I'm gonna peel it off right away. So we're gonna let these fumes go away for a little bit. Once those fumes go away, I just grab the mug out of there. The handle shouldn't be hot. Then what I like to do is take it off right away so that there's no ghosting. And here it is right here. So here's this side. Here's that side. I'm going to go ahead and let me start on this last one. So take my last one right here with this parchment paper. This one should look really good. It's all, all black. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. Put our last one in, get it into place, press it. Like I said, using regular tape, it would leave sticky residue all inside of this. So now with this right here, it doesn't do that. So you can buy these on the sublimation websites. They're pretty expensive. Um, what I did is I just went on Amazon. I'll put a link down in the description of where I got mine. You can get the same. I think I got two rolls for like seven bucks. All right, so we're gonna do our last one. This is just your everyday weeding tool right here for weeding vinyl, so I use it to peel that off because these cups are really hot, or the mugs are really hot. Let that steam out. All right, so here's our last one, right away. All right, and then here's the last one. We got this on this side. So if you look, it looks a little brown. It's supposed to be black. Uh, it is what it is. Uh, so we got that side. Ooh, it's hot. And then we got this side. This side came out darker than the other side. I don't know why. But this this actually looks really good too. So there we are. We got all four mugs complete. I'm going to let these cool down. Then I'm going to package them up so they can come pick them up. Alright, so as you can see, these four mugs, we, they're complete. We got them done with that 5-in-1 heat press. Um, I do recommend it um, if it's something if you're just starting off and you're looking for something on a budget um, that heat press would be something to look into because not only do you get to press t-shirts you also get to press caps plates and mugs so if you're looking for something to start with but being but able to do multiple things and just press shirts um, look into that five in one heat press I'll put the link down in the description below so you can check it out Last, remember if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button. We're going to be giving away 50 plus salt transfers. Send me a direct message on Instagram. I'll get in contact with you. I just started carrying this right here. This is the soft mirror silver right here. This comes in a 20 inch roll. But, so let me know if you need some of that. I also, also still have some of the gold. The soft mirror gold looks like this. If you guys need some of that specialty stuff, you need black, you need white, you need red, any colors you need, let me know. Like I said, send me a message on Instagram and I'll get in touch with you. All right, last I want to say thank you guys for watching another one of my videos. Thank you for all the support. Thank you to all the subscribers. If you're new to my channel, welcome to the channel. Welcome to the Heart and Hustle family. And like I say, until next time, keep pressing.